Police Service of uh, Northern Ireland, uh, Lucy Varsami, our weather forecaster here. Uh, I think the thing that really surprises Lucy is we're all on the run-up to Easter and everybody thinks daffodils, primroses, it's all going to get a bit better. Yes, I mean, today's uh, the worst of it, if you like. Uh, much of Ireland was bombarded by sleet and snow through the latter stages of yesterday and overnight. That's now cleared away and it's now... Uh, sitting across much of Scotland and the high ground of Northern England and Wales. But statistically, we're more likely to get snow at Easter than we are at Christmas. Really? Yeah. yeah. And actually, a couple of years ago, back in, I think, 2007 or 8, we had some snow across the south mm. at Easter. Right. Um, I notice outside here in the area around the Sky News studios here in London, temperature is low, it is cold, you can feel a bit of a wind there as well, and it is raining. Yes, there's a bit of everything today. It's a mixed bag. I mean, the most severe weather has now moved away from Ireland, but we will see further wintry sleet and snow showers into the west today. And then for Scotland, blizzard-like conditions, drifting snow, some very high snowfall mm. expected there, some heavy snowfall, awful conditions. And the snow for England and Wales mostly across the north and Wales and across the higher ground to lower levels, a mixture of rain and sleet. So less of a wintry flavour down in the south today. But like you said, with the winds, significant wind chill, it's really cold out yeah. there. Is it going to improve? It is going to improve, yes. I mean, today, uh, this is the graphic behind me. This is the midday snapshot. So you can see the sleet and windy, wet, wintry weather sweeps away into the North Sea. And tomorrow, uh, a drier sort of uh, scene for most of us, just a few sleet and snow showers here and there drifting into the north and the west of the south, a mixture of rain, sleet and snow, but I must say that much of that snow across the, the higher ground, mm -hmm. above 200 metres or so. Now, uh, you and Charlotte are getting standing by to take in uh, photographs uh, from people watching this morning, and um, we can do that in a number of ways. Uh, you can email us, news at sky.com, for weather pictures, I should stress, these are, or you can text us on 84501. Maybe we should get people watching abroad to send us good pictures to cheer us up with sunshine and that sort yeah. of thing. I'm sunbathing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jealous of me. So let, let's get an extent of this weather picture. How bad it is in, and the various areas. Lucy's pinpointed uh, where, where certainly the satellite says it is. What is it like with you? It's uh, news at sky.com. That's the email or the text 84501. And uh, Charlotte and Lucy will go through those and show those as the programme progresses this morning. For the moment, thank you. And we've got a full weather update at half past, of course. Thank you very much. Uh, here is Charlotte with a rundown of what else is happening. Thanks, Eamon. The broadcaster regulator Ofcom is expected to announce a shake-up of the pay TV market this morning after a three-year investigation into competition in the industry. The predicted ruling would affect the really you bad, are. Isn't it? What? It's not even Easter. That's you on the naughty. A whole lint bunny. Yes. What? Terrible. Terrible. Thank you very much indeed. What's the worst thing you have done? That's one is because um, they sold it to a, an underage person, 14 year old, by the way. I'm just what? They sold a goldfish to an under To a 14 year old boy. And the guy's. Fallen foul of animal welfare laws. And he's been locked up in jail or something, <laughs> solitary confinement for that. It's interesting. Right, coming up on Sunrise for more. Well, this ruling by Ofcom's come after three years of deliberation. Here to tell us all about what it means and what's mm. going to happen next. Thank you very much. We'll look forward to that just after uh, seven. Uh, not looking forward to the sport, Jackie, with that. No. View of the situation. Well, what a, what a day to wake up to this, eh? Yes, feeling more like winter than spring. Obviously, it's the 1st of April tomorrow, but not feeling very spring-like at all. Very cold, very wintry, strong gusty winds out there today. Gales and exposure, so the wind will go right through you. It'll be a biting northerly wind. And added to this, uh, some fresh snowfall, some heavy falls of snow across the north today. Now, I know, I know you say statistically uh, the weather can be quite bad come Easter, yep. but when you, when you put it all together, this must be the longest winter on record. It, it is. It's looking very much mm. that way. I mean, we've had a milder spell, but it's been just a respite because we've fallen back into this cold plunge once more. I mean, the only upshot is this is looking uh, like a short-lived spell, I guess. But as far as the winter's concerned, it was the coldest for 30 years for most areas of Britain and Ireland. So that just goes to show it's a record breaking winter and it's not over yet. OK. Will it get better today? It will get better today. I mean, today we're seeing the worst of it, really. The snow confined to the higher ground of northern England and Wales, to lower levels of southern Britain. It's mostly... Well, thank you very much indeed. Uh, we're looking for your views to build up a picture this morning and uh, you can uh, email us, newsatsky.com. You can drop us a text um, on 84501. Uh, Twitpic, you can do that as well at Eamon Holmes, at Sky Charlotte, we're standing by with those. And whoever sent in an elephant from Kruger Park, mm. we said where the temperature is what? 
37 degrees. It was John Hughes. I'll get your photo up soon. He says, while you're enduring awful weather, I thought I'd share with you a view from the veranda of my holiday chalet yes. in the Kruger National Park. 37 degrees. Thanks, John. Thanks. Mm. That's put us in good form. Uh, here is Charlotte with a rundown of what else is happening. Thanks, Eamon. The broadcasting regulator Ofcom is expected to announce a shake-up of the pay TV market this morning after a three-year investigation into competition in the industry. The predicted ruling would effectively mean that Sky is forced to reduce the prices. It All with the, uh, the newspapers. Uh, an overview now. Lucy Verasami, our weather forecaster here. Who would have thought? Tomorrow's the 1st of April. I know. It's, uh, it's feeling more like winter rather than spring. This has been quite well forecast, though. I was talking about sleet and snow greeting us Tuesday, Wednesday this week, and that was at the weekend. I'm not accusing you of anything. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. I'm saying, has this been the long, it's the longest winter I can yes, remember? Yes, I mean, it's just been, gone, it's been relentless, hasn't it? I mm. mean, it's been the coldest winter for 30 years. For Scotland, I think it's been the coldest winter for 50 years. I mean, it's record-breaking. Mm. It's going to be in textbooks for years to come, that sort of thing. And we've had like a milder respite and now we've fallen back into this colder snap but that's what it is it's a snap it's not going it's just quite a short-lived cold spell what maybe by easter daffodils primroses will Let's be rolling so. eggs yeah, oh. you never know the east eggs could be melting but at the moment it's looking a little on the chilly side now, let's look at your map this is affecting yes. the whole country is it because we're where where that big number eight is basically right. down yes, there so that mostly yellow rain for us down here. Uh, it is cold though out there it is cold and windy exactly because the, of the wind that cold cutting north uh, northwesterly wind. It's going to go right through you today. It's going to give a significant wind chill and it's going to enhance the coldness. Well, the only area that seems to be escaping any sort of cloud and, and, and wind is uh, the southwest, all yeah, down there in Devon and in Cornwall. Western Devon, Cornwall, Pembrokeshire might get away with the drier, brighter. There's a northern exactly. island. Exactly, our map self self explanatory. Yeah. You could do the weather, Raymond. Much of the snow across northern Britain, particularly across the higher ground of Scotland, northern mm -hmm. England, Wales, that sort of thing. Lovely. I don't think. All the soldiers <laughs> watching around the world will be very interested in me doing the news, but uh, we would love to see the pictures in Charlotte standing by, collating those um, at Sky Charlotte. You can also email these for Lucy and Charlotte, news at sky.com, and there's a, um, uh, a, a tech Charlotte with those details. Thanks, Eamon. New research suggests that breast cancer screening saves the lives of two women for every one who receives potentially unnecessary treatment. The research follows other recent studies which suggested the programme does little to save lives. Amy Lewis has the details. The bunny that I had last night, actually, because Brian's just sent me a message on Twitter and he said, don't worry about that, that's ensuring you have enough chocolate reserves in your system if you forget to have some probably, one day. So that's probably. a good point, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, very good point. Don't you feel guilty? <laughs> Front pages of the paper.